everybody, Ann here. And Papa, I'm super excited. I just got a text that somebody wants to get rid of a big water tote. So I'm gonna go pick it up. Girl power, Miss Ann, my old neighbor. Hi. Guess what? She gave me this. How many gallons is it, Ann? 250. 250 gallons? Yep. And we got it up in that truck all by ourselves. Yes, we did. Strong women. Girl power. Yes. I am so stoked. I cannot wait to get it home. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to find a place. She gave me this wire stuff. This will be great for the bunnies because the poop will fit through. They can just hop all over it. This is a nice big long piece. Oh, that is so cool. So I'm back at the property and I gotta make my way. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this. So, um, hmm. Boy, it needs to be mowed back here. Would you believe I got it off my truck and drug all the way over here from over there all by myself? They're not really that heavy. Um, so it doesn't come with a cap, but I don't need a cap. And I also need to get a spigot thingy, the cap here, and um, the bottom of the base, there's not one, so I'm going to get a couple of pallets and put it on top of the pallets, and it is going to stay right here. And the reason why is because I am going to make another water catchment system off of this roof right here once this is all ready to go. And if you look inside, here, let me turn it over. There you go. It's pretty gosh darn clean. I don't know what was in it before, but um, she said it's not food grade. So I will be just using this for, um, you know, watering the plants um, and various such things. But I remember this. It was on another property and I helped uh, spray paint it. <laughs> um, and they moved from the property. And so my old neighbor, Ann, took it back. So it didn't get stolen and she wanted to get rid of it. So here it is. I remember spray painting this. Oh my gosh. Since this will slide right out of the cage when I roll it over, I've just got a couple pieces of wood that I'm gonna put down um, and then just get it into place. There we go. That's gonna capture a lot of water. I don't think this is gonna be where it's permanently gonna be. It just depends on, yup, I'm probably gonna tarp it because I don't have gutters yet. Um, it's likely going to have to come out from the tiny house a little bit more. It needs to be up on one or two or maybe more pallets. And, um, yeah, so this is going to be great. All I need to do is get one of those caps with a little spigot thingy on it. I wanted to get a really good look at this, at the threads. Let's see. That's the threads. I think that could be considered coarse thread. Yeah, it's pretty big threads. I just want to make sure I get the right cappy thing. You know what I mean? And there is so much that I'm going to be able to do with this metal fencing stuff. The main priority is going to be the chicken hutch. So um, there's more than enough to take care of that. I am so excited. She had this extra little thing. Um, I've already got one inside the tiny house. I actually wanted another one. So I'm just gonna clean it up and put it inside the tiny house. Yay! So let's get this thing scrubbed up. assured I am not wasting any, any of this water at all.
all squeaky clean now. I'm just gonna sit it out in the sun and let it dry for a little while. And see that there bucket of water? Can you guess what I'm gonna do with it? Yep, I am gonna take it right on over to the garden area and water the plants. I've already gone ahead and ordered the IBC Toad drain adapter thingy and it comes with all this stuff. I verified that it was the right kind. Hopefully it is. Um, I talked to somebody who knows somebody who uh, knows a lot about these things. So, I mean, I, what I do know is it's a coarse thread on the drain outlet. So, um, it's supposed to get here Saturday. So, I cannot wait to get this thing up and collecting rainwater. And there it is, folks, side by side. I had that other one right next to it. I like this better because it looks more uniform in my kitchen. And I put the other one over here. This is my bathroom area. This is my bed. Um, right now there's still kitchen stuff in there. I haven't transferred the stuff over. But I'm going to put towels and toiletries in this. And I got my little diffuser right there. I am so happy about this. So as soon as I can get a couple pallets, and I think I may know somebody who has some pallets. In fact, it's the daughter of Miss Ann, the lady who gave me this tote. Um, she may have some pallets. I don't know. We're, we're going to find out, though. Um, anywhere from a minimum of two, maybe four. Um, I'd like to get it a little bit higher up at the, off the ground. That would be great. Um, and then get the little spigot on it, and then get a, oh gosh, I need to find a, I need to find a tarp. Hmm. I need a good tarp is what I need. I'll have to look around. Um, I may be able to take something off of one of the chicken yards. Anyhow, um, it's not going to be raining a whole lot for, I mean, it's going to rain, I think, Wednesday or Thursday, but I'm not going to have the spigot by then, so um, it'll come. It'll come, and I'm going to get that thing filled up, and I'm just really excited. So thank you, and thank you so much, and thank you for Denise for texting me and letting me know that, that Ann wanted to get rid of it, and it was so good to see my old neighbor again. Oh, my goodness. Anyhow, um, well, that's about all I've done today. Um, you know, I've done garden stuff, chicken stuff, rabbit stuff. Oh, I need... I'll do that for the next video. Um, I need to get that that little fencing thing in the bottom of the rabbit hutch. Yeah, that's a priority because what I got down on the ground right now is um, it's too small. The mesh is too small and the poop doesn't fall through, so I have to end up lifting it up and putting it in a bucket anyhow. So, um, anyhow, I'm rambling. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.